There's a Arby's in Minnesota that posted a sign saying, only well-behaved children who can keep their food and their trays on their bottoms and their seats are welcome. If you can't do this, you are going to be asked to leave. So basically they said, if your kid is acting out, don't come into Arby's. I am perplexed by this. <laughs> this is a topic, as I said, I can relate to I have a six month old. We went into a restaurant and we had our stroller and the restaurant said, you can't come in with a stroller. And, I, and it was cold out. And I'm like, well, what are we supposed to do? My son is too small for a high chair and I'm supposed to hold him, I guess, while I'm eating. Don't get me wrong, there's no pity party. We went somewhere else. But why is, what is the, the beef, so to speak, with kids in restaurants? We have mom vlogger and mother of five, Bryce Gruber, who's here with us. Bryce, thanks for joining us. Uh, this is not the first time a restaurant has said no to kids coming in. Is the meal ruined that much by an unruly... Y'all might say yes, so don't go with me discussing. This woman said yes. <laughs> don't give Moses shade. <laughs> I'll be back for you in a second. <laughs> Is the meal that bad because of a child being around? No, I don't think so. And I think also, who's to say exactly what a poorly behaved child is? Who's the judge of that? And on top of it, if you can't go into the safe haven of a fast food restaurant where it is the most casual place you could ever go, people are going in in pajamas, then where can <laughs> you go? Right, right. This place has a no shoes, no shirt sign. I mean, you could be worse than having a kid going in. And how do you want to take your child from the breast milk all the way to a white tablecloth without a little training wheels in between? That's the perfect environment to say, okay, we're going to learn to sit for a meal. Right. There are going to be people you don't know right. around, and you're going to calm down. All right, now that I have backup, I'm coming over to you. <laughs> Stand up, beautiful, and I won't describe discriminate because you're brave, so don't discriminate because my child. I love Moses. I, you love Moses. So you were like, yes, some kid, you don't think, what's your name? Terry. Terry. From Maryland. So, from Maryland. You think some kids, it's fast food, not a white tablecloth, as pointed out. It's a fast food restaurant. Well, no, I think kids are welcome everywhere. However, I have been in restaurants where kids are just doing all kinds of things <laughs> and parents are not minding their kids. And when I go out to um, spend my money, I don't want nobody standing behind me pulling these braids. <laughs> <laughs> and that has happened in McDonald's. So, you know, Yeah, sometimes... you're like, keep your hands off me. <laughs> you know, sometimes. Yeah. yeah, kids are welcome everywhere. Yeah. But I do think sometimes we do need to do a better job. I agree. Not making sure that we don't disturb others. Because some people... I love kids. I have two of my own. But some people don't want to go out to eat and spend their money. I, and I actually agree with you. We're saying, to your point, <laughs> it's how you define unruly, yeah. not just picking on people with kids. If you can stay within your own personal space and not invade someone yeah. else's personal space and you're not stealing their fries and touching their hair <laughs> or pulling anyone's braids, then I think it's a good you're opportunity. Good. I love it. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank, thank you as well. By the way, Arby's did issue an apology. They said in the statement, we recognize the language on this sign was insensitive. We removed it quickly and have disciplined the manager and team working at the restaurant.